Hi, I am PJ, uh, currently the program officer for CLD or the Center for Liberalism and Democracy. We are uh, officially the think tank of the Liberal Party of the Philippines, but we also do have our own projects and set of activities. And our goal is to be one of the leading institutions or um, organizations that advocates for liberal and democratic values and principles in the Philippines. Probably one of the most challenging for us, especially during the pandemic, was really finding that space. Finding that space, kung saan kami pwedeng bumast for where we can, I don't know, grow or we can do our part. But right now, with the current political climate in the Philippines, it's really hard. For example, we are trying our best to work on uh, draft bills to go through the Congress. But of course, considering the composition of the Congress and the Senate right now, it's a bit harder. And at the same time, we are having a hard time really, um, looking for champions to champion our advocacies and policy recommendations in, in the Senate and in the House. But when we do our uh, more general activities like our freedom spaces and all of those things, one of the challenges that we encounter is really getting people in. Because, of course, everyone's still recovering from the pandemic, especially with the current um, economic status of the Philippines, it's really hard to get people in and to have them sit down and talk about their rights, their human rights, and to talk about liberalism and democracy. But we are trying our best to diversify our efforts and approaches in still delivering and advocating liberal values and principles in the Philippines. Um, I guess this goes for the whole Southeast Asia region. The state of liberalism and democracy in the region is currently experiencing blows. In the Philippines, we recently elected, of course, a president who was the son of a former dictator. And our former president had done a great job of challenging the status quo, of challenging freedoms and democracies in the Philippines, of really influencing institutions to quote-unquote champion liberalism and democracy. But the truth is that the state of democracy in the Philippines right now is degrading. It is challenging. When we talk to people on the streets, they would know the values of liberalism and democracy, especially democracy. They would know their rights, but they wouldn't know how to assert it, that they have the right to assert it. It is in this time that we need to be firmer in our uh, efforts to really champion democracy, to let people know that they have their rights and that they can assert those rights. And um, in order to help us better champion liberalism and democracy in the Philippines, it starts with really acknowledging that there is a problem. Acknowledging that there is a problem and this is how people perceive these problems. And in doing so, we can better craft solutions, events. We can create better, safer, and more open spaces where people can share what they think, where people can agree to disagree, where people can debate where people can talk about the things that they feel for, the challenges that they encounter, and how to better shape a country that responds to their needs as aligned to liberal and democratic values and principles.